Hey guys, it's Bait Baby, and uh, had a little bit of things on my mind, a little bit of things. Um, namely, uh, is vaping safe? I've been thinking about that a lot, like as a concept of like the vaping being safe, as a concept. I'm not really that worried about it. Uh, you know, I didn't really have a problem with cigarettes outside of like them being inconvenient, so I don't really give a shit if this is killing me either. What I've been kind of like wondering about is like why I can't find any, you know, pro or anti thing that can kind of agree on multiple things um, to vaping. Um, a thing I always notice um, when I kind of look this up, uh, like, is vaping safe? Is the pro um, vaping information all seems to be contained within websites that also, you know, make and sell vaping accessories and e-liquid. You know, check out our premium e-liquids. And by the way, vaping is super cool. So that's not really something I give a shit about um, in swaying the opinion of safety. And the anti side is kind of all that clickbaity, um, not a lot of cited studies really. Um, but what about the kids and teens kind of um, content there? Um, real concerned about the kids and teens can't really tell me if um, my uh, e-liquid is slowly killing me. Um, and I'm, I'm removing nicotine from this completely. Um, um, nicotine um, is different, like, <laughs> just... Uh, we're talking about the conveyance method, not the actual drug. So, so that's what I've been kind of like ruminating over right now is um, why no one can agree on one thing. And um, there's a couple possibilities in my head and that's like that we just haven't been vaping long enough um, in a way that's like really on a tangible scale for anyone to think, yeah, let's study that. Um, it's probably like the Occam's razor of it all. Um, the, now to doff my tinfoil hat, um, there might be um, a lot of money vested in, you know, people not vaping um, and also people vaping. So that's gonna really skew things. The people who sell the um, mods and the e-liquids and all that, um, they wanna keep making money. <laughs> People who are really overzealous about, you know, not smoking and any, like we all know vaping isn't smoking, but for a lot of people it's basically the same fucking thing. That's why we still have to go outside when we do it, let's be real. Um, they have a vested interest in that not going away because they are worried that, you know, kids are going to really enjoy it. Um, and what worries me about the, the studies related to that is um, I always think about that thing that bounced around on Facebook for a while and got on like Good Morning America and other shit I don't actually watch um, was the whole Oreos are as addictive as heroin and you know if you've ever known a heroin addict or someone like really into Oxycontins um, you kind of automatically know that's bullshit. I mean, don't get me wrong, Oreos are a garbage cookie, and um, if you like Oreos, you have bad taste, but they're not as addictive as heroin. Um, suck my dick if you think that's true. Um, at least not addictive like heroin is, and I think, um, you know, an addiction that, like, destroys families and lives is um, um, kind of not the same thing as being chubby for lack of a better way to explain it. But the thing about that, the thing about studies like that, is, you know, um, people who do those studies also have a vested interest in getting their research published. That gets them money. So, so that's why you hear articles about, you know, like, cum being good for youthful skin. Um, because people will want to read why cum is good to eat, I guess. Um, or Oreos being as addictive as heroin, or, you know, all that stuff. 
all that stuff that's just kind of faintly unbelievable, but like lets people feel their good feelings related to that thing, like like that fuck fat people, Oreos are just like heroin, and yeah, it can come on my girlfriend's face, it's good for her. Um, that spectrum. <laughs> So that's a, that's another thing is you know it just it's just kind of all airs on the side of ugh, everything's probably bullshit and you know if I speak for myself um, if you're even following my channel because I know right now I'm basically screaming into the dark um, I started vaping to you know to say cigarette smoking because it was becoming um, inconvenient for me and my boyfriend made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Um, I couldn't refuse it. It was either, you know, have all the upfront costs handled for me or, um, I have to keep buying cigarettes and if I let all the upfront costs ha get handled for me and, um, didn't like it, I was still getting a carton of cigarettes in the end. Um, so I tried it out. I liked it a lot more than smoking. Uh, like, as I mentioned, I don't cough as much. Um, not winded as much. Whitening toothpaste works. It's eh, real nice right now. Um, I am not having any, you know, cigarette related health problems um, like I was in December. Um, no more great globs of phlegm being hacked up. So I have nothing but praises to sing about vaping. I just want to know if I'm being honey potted. Or better yet, um, you know, if I'm being dumb, if, like, it is safer to smoke a cigarette. Because it certainly ain't fucking cheaper. Oh. <laughs> like, that, that's, that's always something to, like, think about is, you know, when it comes to you know, addiction and stuff. Why, why, why do people get so up in arms now about nicotine? Um, and I think just because it is a um, really sensor, like sensorily, like to your senses, offensive. It, it smells like shit. You know, it burns your eyes if you walk into a cloud of smoke. It's not cool to be around. Um, and I feel like if you are, you know, a fuck cigarettes type of person and you've never really smoked a cigarette, you're going to see this. You're going to see this. And it's just going to register in your little synapses as a cigarette. And if you hate cigarettes, and a lot of people really hate cigarettes, you're going to have the same kind of reaction to that. And it's not going to be a very positive one. So... Ultimately, I don't think um, until like years and years down the line, we're really going to have any concrete studies about vaping. And um, that's, that's just something you, I'm going to have to eat. Um, if you're into that, that's something you're going to have to eat. It's just, um, that's just how the cookie crumbles, so to speak. Um, people are just going to be really adamantly against it, and people who are trying to make money off it are going to be like, yeah, it's great. And um, I can only speak from my experience of, you know, using it to quit smoking and saying yeah, it feels better and I like it more than smoking cigarettes, and that doesn't really count for a lot. Um, I'm going to get um, some new flavor reviews up for you. Um, the Kilo Black Series Honey Cream, Kilo White Series um, Marshmallow Crisp, um, Keep It 100 um, Crunchy Squares. Um, I'll tell you about how those tasted and um, whether or not they're worth buying. If um, you might be someone who feels like we have similar tastes, because you know that's not um, a tangible thing either. Uh, you know, you can touch on that subscribe button, you can leave me a comment, you can like this video, not that I think it really matters. <laughs> and um, if you want, free will. Um, other than that, uh, y'all have a good one, and I'll see you when I see ya. Good night, or day, or evening, or what the fuck ever. Adios.